Yo, now whoever thought that James Orwell could do it again for that second round on that collection two frames, you're bugging. You're tweaking. I got three frames that'll prove you wrong. So we're gonna talk about it. Y'all know how we do it. Let's get right to it. Roll my camera, please. Yeah. What's good, camp crew? It's your homeboy, Camp Quarter Banks, and welcome back to the channel. Now, if this is your first time tuning into my channel, this is where you can get content focused on streetwear, sneaker content, and menswear fashion. Now, with that being said, I want you to go ahead, hit that subscribe button, notification bell, hit that like button, and drop a comment down below. All right, so James Oral did it again. They have their collection, two frames that recently dropped. I'm a fan of James Oral. Not, not me just being biased, this just being honest about frames, just because of their presentation off the top and the things that they have when they're giving it to their customers i just fire so i got three new frames that i want to show you all one of them being the ones that y'all have been really talking about y'all wanted me to give a review on and then i have two other frames that i actually want to show y'all in that new collection for this fall and winter season so let's just jump right into it i don't even want to hold y'all any longer let's get this going all right let's go all right y'all now like i said i got three frames that i got i got the black armors i got the black rivals and i got the black phantoms these boys are crazy all three of these are fire and i'm gonna break them down to you real quick starting off with the one that y'all have been speaking of y'all wanted me to start off with the black armor y'all have really been asking me about these if i was gonna get these shades so let's just get us a real quick review first thing first i have always been a fan of their packaging their boxing and everything because how they're storage with everything they make sure that everything is protected and you don't have no breaks or damages to your frames or anything like that so just starting off with the back you'll have three layers of like casing so like you got your first package your second being this drawer that you open up and then your third is your actual box that you open up from the inside, which is always fire. I've said this has been one of the fire casings that I've ever had. Now, before we go any further, before you actually get to your initial box, you actually have some stuff that's on the inside, of course. You have your information cards. Now, also on the inside, you will have your cloth that'll help you clean your frames instead of you using just like a regular napkin or anything because that could add some scrapes and damages to your glasses and make sure that those fingerprints don't be showing all over your glasses and everything, right? So that's what's fire about these. All right, boom, let's talk about these boys right here. These are the black armor frames that they have for their collection two of their frames, man. These are boy, these boys are fire, man. I'm, I'm a fan of these. Now, just to start off with everything, I'm a fan of the frames itself, like this actual frame setup, because it's not just your typical rectangle frames and it's not just your typical circle oval glasses or anything like that it's actually some different shape to it. So it actually is like, kind of like an abstract look to it. So it stands out just a little bit more. It gives like a sleek presentation, but at the same time, it's not too big and it's not too small. It's like hitting right there in the sweet spot. So these frames are fire to me. Now, another thing to keep your mind on, this entire presentation, the entire body of these shades, these are fire. This is more of your high-end fashion, like the high-end style fashion. It's very trendy as of right now because it gives that bulky look to it. And that's what a lot of people are right now into and it's like that black on black look so this is what has been really moving especially with the way that fashion has been moving it's actually staying on trend and on fashion now to add on top of that i actually like the the heaviness to it it doesn't feel flimsy or anything like that so i like how heavy it is it's, it's a stiff heavy it's a stiff heavy type of frame so i enjoy that so it lets me know it's kind of like a a tough armor truck basically it's it's bulky it's a little heavy but it's not too heavy the weight of these frames is well rounded it's even on the legs it's even in the front so it like balances on your face evenly so it's not heavy and you won't catch a headache from anything like that now to add on top of things the other parts that i actually do like that's actually mind catch to me is things that's really small but it's attention to detail first thing first on the inside of the legs you'll see that this has a seat through type of presentation so you can see the inside of the legs you can see that gold inside of the legs so is that see-through look is really what's catching me a lot of people won't be able to see that until you lay the glasses down or until you actually wear the glasses it may be something small to you but it's something that's big to me attention to detail is very big to me now again this is something that's small but it actually is eye-catching now just to add on top of that i really do like to have frames that have like a small logo to it it's like a real quick hit for, i want you to know exactly the type of frames that i'm wearing it's really small it catches your attention it has the odors here so if people don't know what it is they can ask but if people already see what that is they'll know if you know you know type of thing now to add on top of that when you do put these frames on they are wide enough to actually sit on your face they're not squeezing on the side of your temples they don't give you a headache or anything like that and that's very important to me because when i actually wear my glasses i pretty much wear them for a long time so i don't want to have glasses that's going to sit on the back of my head and it's going to start to give me a headache and i have that pain in the back of my head or i have that pain on the temples 
I don't like that. So these are very comforting. They're not too wide. They're not too tight. This like right in the middle. So it fits right on your face and it's not heavy at all. So I could actually wear these all day and I'd be comfortable in these too. So again, these are the black armor frames. They go for 165. Go ahead, check on that website and go ahead and get your black armors. These boys are crazy. So yes, for everybody that actually wanted me to grade this, I think that these are some fire shades. I will give these a nine out of 10. All right, y'all, boom. Let's talk about these boys. These boys are the rival. These are a very minimalist type of style frames. These boys are cold to me. Now, for anybody that's asking about the price, these are 165 as well. These are some designer frames that's actually going for 165. They are very sturdy. And at the same time, they are very clean. These are a very minimalist type of style. So it's nothing that's too abstract, too out there in the open. It's clean cut and straight to the point. These glasses are like a GQ type of fashion. You could go to business to brunch, brunch to kicking it with the friends or kicking it with the friends to a late night outing or even date night or take these straight to the club. You could do these in multiple places and you will be extremely stylish with these boys. Now the fact that it doesn't have too much on here makes it that much even more better to me because it doesn't have to be abstract and so out there in the open for it to be eye catching. What it is is just some clean frames that blocks the sun but at the same time they give such a sleek presentation that you don't have to do too much. They don't need to be too bulky. They could be something that's really slim, but at the same time, these glasses do hold some weight to it. Now, lastly, on my grading scale, these are a 10 out of 10. These are my favorite of the three that I have. These are a 10 out of 10. I will wear these multiple times, but in this case, I'm very picky with how I wear my frame. So these may be worn multiple times, but I won't always go to these because I don't want to end up getting my wear out of them. I want to wear these when I'm just really trying to like go crazy on some style. So if I'm really trying to style out and I put these on, you know, I'm coming to do work. Simple as that. Simple. Let's get to the next one. All right. Now for the last ones, these are the Phantom Authentic, the black Phantom Authentics. These are an update to the Authentic 2s that they already have. Now these are similar to the Rival, but there are some small things on here that you should know about. Now the first thing, they do not have the full gold that's around the frames. Instead of giving more of an outlandish type of style or something that's really calm and casual, this gives more like that outstanding outspoken type of style to it. So it speaks out a little bit more. It's a little bit loud because it doesn't have the gold frames that's around it. And it's clean because I like these bars that's on the side. Like I said, they're just like the rivals. They have this casual setting to them. Normally the authentics will have like some designs that's on the side and they was flat. So it stood out just a little bit more. Instead of you having to be too standoutish, it's something that's real chill, something that's real minimal. It doesn't have to have too much. Like I said, sometimes less is just more. And in this case, having like the bars that's like this, saying less is actually saying more. Now, of course, you have the comfort that's on the back of your ears and you'll have that gold diamond that's on the back. I think that's pretty chill. And inside of the nozzles, you'll see that they have that old logo that's on the inside. Again, small attention to detail. It's really capturing your mind. But at the same time, they have the O that's in the upper right hand corner that you will always see in James oral frame. So I don't know if they had that on the left hand side on some like their old school ones, but they always have like their O or aura on the right hand side. So you probably will know if you got some fake joints or not. Yeah. All right. But yeah, these joints are fire to me. These are like your everyday. I think that if you want to wear some glasses, these are more so like your everyday type of style. So you can wear these every day, literally pick these up every day and go about your day. If you're really trying to find some shades that are blocked the sun, and you'll be stylish at the same time. Something that goes with literally everything, every style that you wear, whether it's streetwear, casual, business, super stylish, or runway, whichever type of style you're trying to blend with, you could take these and this will go with every style. So you could be very versatile with these. I think that these are fire. Now again, they are the same like the Rivals because they have that spring that's on here. So of course it's loose when you put these frames on. It's not too dope. It's not too tight on here, so it's squeezing your head and you don't get a headache. Not tight on the back at all. And you have that spring that actually bends out a little bit. So if you do have them tight on your face, they actually do spread out just a little bit. So it gives like that more relaxing feel to your face. And they're not too heavy weighted. I like that. 
So these boys are fire. I would give these an eight out of 10. These are eight, they are more than just average glasses. They do stand out. So I give these an eight out of 10 out of these three. These are fire frames. Like these are some of my favorite. Like for this collection, two frames that they have just dropped, they have way more for you to check out. So I want you to go on the website and check out their long list that they have of different frames. I mean, they actually put in work with these collections that they just put out. Like, I mean, the long list, they have way more different frames than the three that I just showed you. I think it's about 10. Maybe I could, I could be right, could be wrong, but they do have a long variety of ones that you can actually look at and check out. The boys are fire. So shout out to James Oral. They did, they work, like they went crazy. I'm, I'm actually happy that they went crazy with this one. Like this is something that I will continuously buy from and it helps back up what I was saying, why I'm saying that James Oral is just that fire. Like if you're looking for designer frames, you're looking for something that fits your personality, you have so much of a variety to choose from that you're gonna actually find one that fits your style. So shout out to James Oral, man. They did, they work with this. Oh yeah, and these are going for 165 too, if I didn't say the price already. All right, y'all, I just laid three different frames out for the new collection, two frames that they just put out. And for anybody that's asking, yes, these are James Oral frames too. These are the authentic twos that came out last season. I just listed out three for y'all, man. These are the most fire to me when it comes to like adding on your frames. Like when I really been getting into frames, I mean, I really been getting into my frames. So again, my rivals are my 10 out of 10. You have the armors that's a nine out of 10, and then you have the authentic that are an eight out of 10. But you can actually say you like them differently. Let me know how y'all feel about it. Let me know y'all grading. Let me know for those three that I just graded. I wanna hear y'all grading scale. Do y'all think the armor is better? Do y'all think the rivals are better? Do y'all think that the authentic phantoms are better? Let me know, drop those comments down below. Let me know what's up. And if you got any other questions y'all wanna ask about those three frames that I just put down, go ahead, drop them down in the comment. Y'all know what to do. Drop that comment down in the box. Make sure that y'all hit that like button because we are trying to show some love to not only this channel, but show some love to James Oral and let them know that they handle their business on a new collection. With that being said, I'm gonna catch up with y'all on the next one. Y'all already know the vibes, man. I'm your homeboy, Cam Quarterbanks. So I'll catch up with y'all next time. I'm out, I'm gone. I holla at y'all, peace.